The historic meeting between President Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro is drawing sharp criticism from a Silva man who left his native Cuba in the 70s because of the communist regime. News 13's Justin Hinton joins us now. Justin, for many, this move is seen as a diplomatic breakthrough, but some Cuban Americans, they're just not buying it. Especially Ralph Rodriguez. Now, he works as an engineer for WLOS and is up on Mount Pisgah right now, making sure that you can see this broadcast. But after fleeing Cuba in 1978 and becoming a U.S. citizen, he says he does not believe the U.S. should open up ties with Cuba under Castro. Okay, I hope you can see. It's not a bad view for Ralph Rodriguez. Of course, we have a kitchen here working for WLOS and living for weeks at a time up on Pisgah since 2003, making sure we stay on the air each and every day. Well, we have our antique restroom here. For all of the passion he has for his job, there's an even greater love for the United States. Today, I am very proud to be an American, and this is my nation. The American flag is my, my flag, and very proud and very happy to be an American. But his journey here started in Cuba, when Fidel Castro was the dictator in charge. About 19 years of my life under the communist regime in Cuba, until finally I left Cuba. And I have never been back, and I will never be back to Cuba. It's one of the reasons he was so upset when he saw the image of President Obama and President Raul Castro shaking hands, opening up a diplomatic relationship between the two countries one that remained stagnant for more than half a century. When I break over from my nausea, I turn the computer off. It's something that drives me sick, thinking the American president is shaking hand with an assassin. Rodriguez sees Cuba as a terrorist nation, one that is still on the U.S. list of state sponsors of terrorism. And for Rodriguez, any deal under the Castro regime is a bad one. I don't see, in, in my opinion, a possible deal with Cuba unless there is a total change in Cuba. The Obama administration is expected to make a decision on whether Cuba will remain on the list of state sponsors of terrorism. Frank?